Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm going to use all of the product that I got from Dollar Store a couple of days ago. If you want to see that video where I go to Dollar Store show you what kind of products or makeup products they have over there here in Sweden then you can check that video up here but I bought a couple of products and I have them all here and actually I'm going to try them on. I'm going to try them today. So if you're interested to see what products I have here and how everything works for me, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this is all of the new products they have in the dollar store. I was there a couple of months ago and they didn't have this. But let me know down below if you're interested to see more of those videos where I go and see what's new at dollar store if you're interested. So the first thing I got is this beautiful big eyeshadow face palette. And this is a new brand, Body Collection England, that I haven't heard about before. If you have, please let me know down below if you tried anything from them. But they had a couple of products. Now, I didn't buy everything, everything that I had. I do have a limit, <laughs> but I did buy a couple of things. But I bought this uh, Body Collection England lipstick set. It looks so beautiful, marmal. I have a phone case like this. Love, love, love these shades in here. So we're going to try that today. I also got the eyeshadow primer. You know, guys, I'm obsessed with eyeshadow. I also have a concealer from Max and More. Also new brand that I've ever seen in Dollar Store before. For Max and More, I have highlighting and contour stick. Now they did have a highlighting palette. I forgot actually to buy that. I was looking for a highlighter and I it was at the end of the line and I didn't remember to pick it up unfortunately. I did saw it in my video that I uh, did where I went to the door. So when I was editing the video I saw the palette and I was like ah how could I forget that. But if you want to see more of that, these kind of videos where I try everything that I buy and when I go to buy those things let me know. Let me know down below and I'll definitely do so. Body Collection England Bronzing Powder. It looks so nice, actually. I think they had different shades. I got one in the lightest. Doesn't say what shade it is, but I think, I think, I'm not sure, but I think they had different shades. Now I had more things. Let me take it out. So I also have this lipstick and lip, uh, lipstick and also looks like, uh, what is it called? Lip gloss. From Body England. I also bought the eye opener from opener from Technique eyeliner. I bought the Body Collection England volumizing mascara and also I got Technique's brow gel in brown. I think this is dark brown, dark brown. Yes, so that's what I got, and that what is what we are going to do. So I'm going to try start with my eyes. And today I didn't get any foundation. Please let me know if you want to see that. I already got one foundation a couple of months ago when I bought products from Dollar Store. So today I'm going to use today I'm going to use Elf Primer and I'm going to use Naked Palette, uh, not Palette, Stay Naked Foundation. So let's try and prime the eyes. Let's prime the eyes. This is transparent. This natural eyeshadow primer by Max and More extends the wear of your eyeshadows. The creamy texture neutralizes the tones of the of the eyelids and emphasizes the color of the eyeshadows. Apply a small quantity to your eyelids. After the primer has dried, apply the eyeshadow remove remove with eye makeup remover. Okay. This was, it was a lot of information here. Let me know, have you tried anything from Mad Max and More makeup? I haven't heard about them before. This is really new for me. I, mean, I think it's too big packaging. You, you have your primer here, but the rest of the packaging, the biggest part, there is information about this primer. So very unnecessary, but I don't know how much to apply. It's a small amount, but... It feels very wet. It doesn't cover a lot, so it doesn't have a lot of coverage, which kind of made me sad because I was expect expecting that from this. And I won't set it. I usually set my primer, but this time I'll set it with eyeshadow that we have from the eyeshadow palette that I got. 
and it, dry, it it feels wet. You know when you apply something cold on your eyelids, that is how it feels. Like when you apply the liquid liquid um, eyeshadow. So let's start with this palette too. I mean, this palette looks very interesting. It says here, developed in England, made in China. Against animal testing, it says too here. Hard, but it says against animal text, texting. Developed a design in Britain. And it's good that it's against animal testing. I don't know what that actually means. Does it mean that it's cruelty free or, I don't know. Usually it says cruelty free, but it's something new for me. And I love this kind of packaging. Uh, I mean, this feels, it looks a little bit cheap, of course. The package is not best quality. Can't really take it to back. There is a plastic on this, but these brushes, I mean, this, can, can we use them? No. No, we are not going to use them. But here you have the eyeshadows, sorry, uh, lipsticks, blushes, and bronzers. I hate these, I'm not going to use them, but everything is sealed and nice. I think this would be a good present for someone if it actually works, for but for someone very young, maybe for a child that likes makeup and wants to play with makeup. Uh, I don't think I'll actually buy it like for someone, someone. So we take the plastic off. I mean, it looks nice. I don't be a fan of having lipstick skin here. But I think I'll try a lipstick right now while I do my eyes just to see the texture. I'm going to try this first one. Ooh. It's very bo like balmy. It doesn't have, it feels like a balm. It doesn't have much pigment. No, it doesn't have a lot of pigment. And it feels like a balm. Okay, let's see another darker color. Maybe we can... Okay, I don't like that. Let's see. Let... Oh, come on, this is heavy. Let's try this one. This one has more pigment. But it's still like a balm. It doesn't smell nice. It's like nude to me. It looks very dark here though. But let's leave it on, see how it's working while we do the makeup. Uh, I need to put down this. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys what shades I I'm using. But maybe I can show you later. We're just going to play with the palette. It's a little bit too heavy to hold. I mean, I'm going to mix. It's very, They are very powdery and if you can see I'm going to mix something that's more white and uh, yellow nude shade very bright can't see anything I don't know is, am I able to swatch it can't even swatch it it's so small can't see a lot of the pigment from these bright shades let's go to our crease shade light or oh, this one is not showing i don't know if it's too light maybe you hear my children talking playing in the next room i'm sorry for that oh, they are very powdery but i can't really see it with this brush let's me i'm going to change the brush and see if i can use i'm going to use if i can make it a little bit darker this is esco 2 let's go back to that nude i mean this gets a lot of eyeshadow on but no pigment at all. Let's swat, try to swatch it. No, it's almost like my skin shade. I can't see it. You can't see it on the hand. Okay, let's go with a, a deeper shade though. These light shades disappear. Let's go with a deeper shade. No, that's one. It's too deep. Very powdery. Do you see anything? Because I don't see anything at all. Something, can't even see it. Let's go with a deeper shade. Even a deeper shade. These shades are very powdery and they are, I don't think it's a good idea to have lipsticks in here because the powder is going to get everywhere. 
and this is showing just a little and I went with a dark shade I'm going to show you guys later but this is so bright and I feel like I have a lot of eyeshadow on my eyelid but <laughs> nothing is showing I want to show you guys I went first with this shade on the lid that didn't work then I went on with this shade also didn't work now I have this shade this one as you can see this shade I have on in my crease and that's how it looks <sighs> I want to go in another more okay let's go to the darkest matte brown shade here that I can the others are more shimmery but we are not going to go to black let's use this shade in the crease too picks up a lot of powder but well this one is trying to show up on the crease or in the crease okay Okay, I have to be honest, this feels like children's makeup. Let me try to swatch it. This is how it picks up with the finger, and this is how it swatches. No pigment at all. So sometimes it's better. This cost me 140 Swedish crown. That's around $14, $14, $14-$15. And I think you could actually save that and buy something else that's much better I mean I bought the Techniques eyeshadow palettes these kind of eyeshadow palettes for a couple of months ago and I love these these are very pigmented but this brand so far no and I feel like I have a lip gloss on my lips I mean it feels comfortable it feels nice but there is no pigmentation in here at all nope 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 and I like this color either it shows more gray on the eyes than I actually want doesn't blend nice too can you see it doesn't really blend nice oh my god what am I doing let's go back to the first one that we tried to build up I wanted a natural brown makeup look and this is what I'm getting patchy so patchy okay I think I'm going to go with a dark brown or black shade dark black shade and try to build up and let deep it up a little bit here hmm the black is also disappointing well this makeup look that I had in my head is turning to something else <sighs> okay let's take um, another shade this is not working I'm going to try to blend everything with some brown shade I don't know trying to make this look more wearable but it doesn't okay I'm going to take a flat brush and I want to go in with a shimmery shade this is more champagne shade let's go and see oh I don't know if you can see this this is not bad guys This is cute. I mean, it's bad, but it's not ter so terrible as well. Let's wet it a little bit with some, what is this? Boost Fix, Pigment Boost Fix. Oh, this is more white than I thought. This didn't look white at all in the pan here. It feels like it doesn't have um, base pigment. It looks more like shimmer or topper. And it looks like a base shade. No, it looks patchy on my eyelid. Let me can see. Let's use another shade. Try to save the day. Hmm. Let's use more more co copper shade. Yeah, this one is also like a topper, but this one is pretty. It's more dark in the pan that it is turning on my eyes, though. okay not hating it i mean my crease looks like hell uh really like a hell so much fallout mm. 
No, me not like. Okay, we're leaving this so far like this. Since I've used, let me show you, this shade first. And then I went with uh, this shade. And you see, it doesn't really, it looks more light on my eyes than it's in the pan. But, and lipsticks have a lot of eyeshadow in it, so. This is uh, children's makeup. Okay, I'm going to go right now and um, put some foundation first. Prime my face and put some foundation and then we'll go try the concealer and we'll try to finish this makeup looks and make it look decent. <laughs> so now we're going to the concealer. I got it in shade light one. I think they had three different shades. But I could only find number one and number three. That's tan. I think they had light, medium, and tan, maybe. This says it's cruelty-free. Cruelty I think also Maximo is cruelty-free, it says on their packaging. And this is the twist kind of concealer that I hate. So let's see how it long is going to take us to get the product out. Okay. Oh, this is light. Oh, this is drying fast. We need to work fast. It's blending nice. It has a nice coverage. I think it has medium coverage. I'm not going to build it up more because I went also very easy with the foundation. I don't want to have heavy makeup today. It looks nice on the, under the eyes. Before we set it, I want to go in with this creamy concealer. Or not concealer, the highlighter and contour stick. Also, really big packaging for just the product. But let's see the highlighting. Oh, uh, that one, a little bit dark. I don't know if you can see, not much, but it looks like it has a sheen. Apply a little bit above on the eyebrow though. Oh, this is shimmery. Oh my God, my eyes look like a mess. This is terrible. Can you see how it gathers? Look at my eyeshadow. That, I need, I need to fix that. Can't have it like that. I'm going to contour though. Stand, and I'm going to use this as a highlighter later. Let's contour. This is really creamy. But the nose is blending nice. I'm looking at my monitor over there, so if you see me looking, this is blending nice. I'm very surprised. So I'm going to set everything with the Beauty Powder, because I didn't get any powder, so let's set everything before it's, it creases even more. Hmm. I tried to clean it up a little bit with my sponge, but uh, let's blend. I can't have it like this. It's too patchy. It's too harsh. It looks terrible. I'm going to regret, but we are going in again. We are going in with this palette again. Let's blend, take a shade, just blend it under the low lash line so it looks like a finished makeup look. I'm not an expert with makeup. I don't know how, I know how to apply my makeup, my eyeshadow especially, and 
doesn't matter how hard I try, this is not looking good. So let's highlight a little bit. Oh, it's itching, like every time. Let's try to highlight. Okay. I'm going to use a br bl blush brush to apply a br blush. And I think I want to use the second blush. This one here. It's showing up, but it's not blending nice. And as you can see, it skips here. Oh my god, I went a little bit too hard. This this is definitely more pigmented, pigment, can't show you like that, more pigmented than anything else in this palette. <laughs> I mean, I'm not hitting it, but it's not blending as I would like it to. I'm not going to try anything else from this palette. So I'm closing it and taking a step back because doesn't really want to blend. There is more pigment here than in here and it is and splotchy. It's splotchy. Splotchy. Can't talk. I'm not liking the blush. No, we are not liking it. But we are moving, moving, moving. We need to move before I start crying. But this is getting... This is... This is a disaster. So, I'm liking the concealer so far and I'm liking the... Um, what it's called eyeshadow primer so far let's see this is the bronzer this is against animal testing too it looks like to be a very nice shader so let's hope this is work is going to work let's go in I mean, last video that I did with makeup from Dollar Store, it was a success, guys. It was a very good video. Oh my god, this is building up here. Ugh, I'm not like that. I mean, the bronzer is not bad, but this blush is terrible. So the last video I did where I tried, the first video where I tried the products from Dollar Store, it was a success. I really liked many of the products. I was very happy with that. But this video... This video is turning to something else. If the blush is oxidizing, have you ever heard about that? Well, if not, this is definitely something. I'm building up this bronzer. I mean, I don't hate the bronzer. Actually, I do like the bronzer. It looks like it has natural sheen to it, but the blush, I hate. Okay, we're moving on, of course. I like the bronzer, so I'm going to definitely try it again. I'm going to take this technique bronzer gel and I'm not going to use anything else on my eyebrows because I'm happy with my eyebrows I just want to fill them in a little bit there are some parts it needs to be filled Ooh, uh, that's a big one and a lot of product comes out let's remove a little bit of it because I don't want to get messy let's destroy this makeup look even more Maybe I should fill it in. I don't feel like it's filling them in a lot. If you can see, there is a product that it doesn't want to blend here. Or, okay, this looks um, dark. I was just continuing applying because I didn't notice anything, but oh my god. Do you see any difference? I do like this. I don't like the applicator, it's a little bit too big. But I like the product so far. So let's do the other eyebrow. I just messed that even more. So I need to clean up my eyebrows. I feel like it's 
not looking good. Okay, so I do like the gel. I'm not hating it. I think I need to play with it a little bit more. I feel like it filled in my eyebrows nice. I hate the applicator because I feel like it's too big for my eyebrows and I have big eyebrows. And if you have shorter or small eyebrows than I have, you'll definitely have a struggle with this product. So let's go with this liner, inner liner, eye opener, opener, open, opener, open, open, I can't pronounce this. Maybe it will work. Let's see. Hmm. There is a little bit of a difference. I just wish it was more cre more pigmented. Let's try the mascara. Oh, this eyeshadow is still blend going up to my eyebrows. I applied a lot of eyeshadow, so maybe that's why, but this is the worst, worst eyeshadow I've ever tried. So this is Body Collect Collection Inglad Volumizing Mascara. And it's black. And let's see how it's going to look on the eyes. I like the packaging though. I think it's nice. And the wand, it's looking good, flexible. Let's try it. It's separating my eyelashes. I don't know if you can see a difference, but I, but I do. I like this. It's separating my eyelashes and it's making them longer. And so far, I really like the mascara. Let's try to you do it on the other eye. I like the mascara so far. It's natural, but also my lashes are separated a little bit longer. I hope we can build it up a little bit. No, no, I blinked. <sighs> this this makeup look is just going. Mm -hmm. But it takes a while for this mascara to dry down, I have to be honest. Um I don't know. Uh, I want to do an, um, one more, let's see if it's dry, not exactly, but I want to do one more cool coat, uh, try to build it up. I know something is bothering my eye. Definitely bothering, bothering me. So far I'm liking the effect of this mascara, mascara, but it takes a long time for it to dry and I feel like it's going to smudge everywhere. Uh, it's very watery, but I feel like something is poking my eye though. Maybe because I got the mascara wand in my eye earlier, but let's uh, Try the highlighter stick uh, It's creamy, so I'm going to build it up on my hand and try use a finger to Blend it Or apply it Just to have that nice sheen It doesn't remove my makeup under it. I mean, it's not a highlighter highlighter, but it's something. I got this lipstick with a lip balm uh, and it looked like a nice shade, but then I got in love with those other lipsticks packaging that I just had to have. But let's swatch this first. It's a nice shade, more pink nude. It's also very bomb, like a bomb. It does, oh my God, it smells like 
Oh my god, I both hate the smell. But it feels nice on the lips though. Let's see uh, this side, the lip gloss. Has more coverage than the lipstick. Let's try that. Also smells terrible. But I like how it looks on the lips. I like how it looks on the lips. This I like so far, but you know, I had to wear it to see if I like it or not even more. Um, I'm going to remove it and try the other lipstick collection that I have. This packaging looks so cute. It costs 100 Swedish crowns, around $10. Maybe a little bit more, but... Let's try the shades. Packaging in scarf. So we have a first shade. I'm going to swatch all of them on my lips. Ooh, this shade looks nice. And let's put another top on it. I can put this top on it. It's paper. So it looks, it feels cheap. But let's try open this shade, the second shade. I know what it's called. This one is also pretty. Be this one. Up. Then we have third shade. It's more like red on the tone. Pink though. Looks more red on the on the pan. They look more dark than they are. And the last shade we have here. Uh, it's red. Ooh, this red looks nice. I'm going to use the red one. Why not? Uh, definitely need a lip liner there. I mean, I really feel this lipstick is very, very creamy and I do like how it feels very moisturized on the lips. It doesn't feel drying, but I think like I do need a lip liner with this red. I'm scared that it's going to be everywhere. I hate the packaging. It feels so cheap. But let's. So guys, this is the final look. Actually, it turned out okay. I like the lipsticks. I have to say the lipsticks are very nice. The packaging is cardboard. It feels cheap, but it feels nice and moisturizing. I don't know if it's going to go everywhere. I'll update you later in another video. But so far, I'm liking the lipsticks. I li I'm liking the shades. I also like the single lipstick. So far, I'm liking the contour, contour stick. Highlighting contour stick, at least I feel I think it looks nice, and also the highlight highlighter <laughs> looks okay. Uh, this lipstick, the, I can't feel it on my lips. It feels very nice and moisturizing. I like the eyebrow gel, though I hate the applicator. I feel like it really filled in my eyebrows. It looks nice. I'm happy. I, I like the mascara, though I wish it was a little bit more thick, so it gave more like, wow effect to my lashes but I'm not hating so far but I think I'm going to hate it because it feels like it's going to smudge everywhere so I don't know about the mascara but I will update you so far uh, concealer I do like I think it's nice I'll try I'll continue using it and see if I like it even more the eyeshadow primer I don't know I need to try it with some other eyeshadows the eyeshadows I hate if you see it don't buy it I don't know if they have other palettes, I haven't seen it, but this one, don't buy it. It's a waste of money, don't buy it. You can get something much better for the, that money. Uh, let's see, the bronzer, I do like. It has like a, it has like a nice sheen to it. It's not shimmery, but it's not matte too. It has like that nice satin finish. I do like it on the skin. I'm definitely going to continue using it. Maybe it will last. I'll see if it's going to last on my face the whole day. I think it's a good one. The blushes, like I said, the palette is a disaster. But I'm liking many of the products and um, I think this was a good experience. <laughs>
but let me know down below what you think about it have you tried anything of uh, these products have you tried anything from this brand that you can oh i forgot i like this one so far too we'll see how it's going to last but i like it this is the thing i can't pronounce technique eye opener opener so i like this so far it's creamy you have to be very careful with it so you don't break it but so far i think it's okay makeup look it's not the best but i do like this lipstick though really like this lipstick and i like all of the shades so i'm definitely continue to try to play with them uh the only thing i don't like so far is uh, now the the only thing i don't like so far is the palette itself uh but guys i hope you like this video if you did let me know down below what you like what do you think um yeah don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you in my next video i love you all bye